We had a kissing competition to see who'd win. Oh yeah, when we were how old? Probably about 13, 12. 14. Sven said I was a bit short, I'd stand on the watering can <laughs> to reach her. Safe to say, he won the lady. Who is the better blagger? Probably has to be me. So he actually yeah. blags people into thinking that he works for a management company that managed me, called One Management, because they managed one person. Did you play along? Yeah, it's funny as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have a lot of requests for representation on the back of that. Yeah. <laughs> so who takes the longest to get ready? I mean, he's got to do his makeup, he's got to do his hair. <laughs> no, it's not that I take the longest, I'm just late. In the shower, out the shower on Instagram, 15 yeah. minutes on Instagram, yeah. 15 <laughs> minutes on Twitter, start getting changed. So, you know, there's bits in between. Traditionally, who is the better romancer? Who, me? Jesus. Yeah, I agree. Right. Face for radio, it's, it? it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's in my name. Who tells the better joke? I don't know. I mean, obviously me. Not really your one-liner types. No. Always anecdotes, always stories. Could tell um, a good story about cheddar cheese. Yeah, that's what, yeah. He could tell you that, and that's as boring as that is. It's as boring as cheese. <laughs> yeah, so how long have you guys known each other? I was probably seven years old. Yeah. Yeah, 22 years. Charlie, I want you right now to turn to Rowan and tell him exactly what he means to you as a friend. Oh my god. Um. Uh, you're a very reliable man, mm -hmm. and you've always been very kind to me. Uh, yeah, you're always there for me. I don't really know what else to say. Rowan? Um, it's hard for me, and especially like throughout my life, it's hard for me to determine who is actually my mate you know you know you yourself you've always kind of backed me in terms of what it is that I wanted to do and I think you naturally have that relationship with someone where you, I feel like I can talk to you about anything you've turned into a very nice bloke over the years and I think you know you, your dad's super proud of you you know someone that I can rely on and someone that I can trust which in my industry is really hard to find and yeah, it's just nice that I'm fortunate enough to have someone that I can talk to. Rose helped me a lot with my own issues in my life for the past few years. Obviously he's a very busy man, works some strange hours. And there's never been an occasion where I pick up the phone and he goes, oh mate, you know, can we do this another time? Like, I'm busy. Just sort of becomes second nature, you know, when some things do happen, you pick up the phone and he'll always be at the other end. <laughs>